hey guys welcome back to my channel um so for today's video um i thought i would do a little get ready with me and um kind of just talk about i want to do a little story time of um since we are like you know still in the month of love i know valentine's passed already but unfortunately i was sick during valentine's day so i'm kind of like catching up still but um i thought since we are still technically in the month of love we do like a little get ready with me and then i give you guys a little story time on how me and my boyfriend met in case you were wondering um i feel like some people really like meet cute stories and like i don't know like just so you guys learn a little bit more about me and my boyfriend if you want to know <laughs> i'm not forcing you guys to know but um i literally just took my hair out of the roller and it's just like not in sync with my hair so i might do something with this <laughs> but um yeah okay let's get into the video let's head a bend by the way, how cute is this headband? It has like little hearts. I got it from Target for like seven bucks. Like. So, okay, definitely first is primer. I'm using my Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I love this stuff so much. I don't even think I wanna change like primers like ever. It's so good and it gives you that really nice like glow. Oh, I don't know if I said what we were going today, but I'm going on a little date with my boyfriend. We're going to go out to dinner for our friend. He's um, the restaurant manager for this restaurant that's opening at a new location and um, he's like in the process of like training his servers and he kind of wanted us to be like guests there so they kind of like have some practice. So he said free food and free drinks so like why not right <laughs> but um okay how did me and my boyfriend meet okay so oh by the way guys i am going with the elf halo glow filter in the color shade 0.5 fair so me and my boyfriend we met in high school we are high school sweethearts we are two years apart i am older but honestly you can't even tell like most of the time people think that like he's older than me and i'm like i feel so much better about that but in reality we know that i am so we met in high school i was a junior i just started Started my junior year and he was a freshman incoming freshman i know so let's do the math he was 14 and i was 16. cougar i know <laughs> look if i can be honest um i was not looking for a relationship at all i was not looking to be with anybody if i can be honest i had crushes but i didn't really plan on dating anybody i always felt like i was i was undateable um i never thought that i'd actually have a boyfriend or let alone anyone would actually like me i just felt like i was very unlikable and like i wasn't as pretty as other girls i didn't not dateable undateable is what i thought but one thing led to another one of our mutual friends one day because this was like still in the beginning of the school year and like we started in like september so it's like mid-september and one of our mutual friends introduced us and to be honest i did not click with him at all <laughs> like not to sound mean or anything but i was just like i have no idea who this kid is like not interested like if i can just be honest i was just not interested at all but from his perspective during this time he told me that he thought that i was the most prettiest girl that he had ever seen he said that never once did he ever think that he would have dated a latina because i am i am mexican and if i can be honest i never thought that i would be dating a asian guy my boyfriend's vietnamese so i i never in a million years did i think that i would ever so after we were introduced like whenever i met this guy move on right well during my junior year um in my, in my high school we went up to like seven periods but um during my junior year i did not have a seven period so like right after sixth period i was like done with school so after sixth period so that would be during seventh period i used to sit on these like cement walls um in the front of my school and i kind of would just like sit there and just sit there on the wall and just wait till seventh period was over because um i used to pick up my little brother after school and like his school was literally across the street from mine and his was his school would be out like 15 minutes after seventh period at my school was so i used to literally just wait there just to stall time because i didn't want to have to like walk all the way home and then walk back to pick him up in just like an hour you know so i was sitting on the wall by myself and that was kind of like my routine like get out of sixth period and then sit on the wall you know and just wait for time to pass by so i can go pick up my little brother and go home and he <laughs> He came up to me one day and with the catchiest pickup line ever in history, <laughs> I was sitting by myself and then I overhear, Hey, you watching porn on your phone? I don't even know what that means. Like, what? 
I literally had a slide off phone. I couldn't do nothing with that phone. But you know, sometimes days I kind of miss that phone. I miss how things were. <laughs> but, um, and I just thought to myself, oh my god, I like this kid. He's so annoying. He's always bothering me. He doesn't leave me alone. Like, oh my god, whatever. And I kid you not, every single day bothered me while I would be sitting on the wall. It never stopped never stop like he never not once did not like not come up to me <laughs> while i was sitting on the wall so one thing led to another and we kind of just started to hang out because at first like i told you like i've never met anyone like him before um he was completely different person like people that i'm used to and i, I was always a very quiet girl never talked to anybody i'm not like that like a hundred percent these days but i do have um social anxiety sometimes especially when meeting new people it was definitely a change up of like friends you know compared to the friends that i had before he had like this whole different personality than what i'm usually used to a lot of humor a lot of energy like this guy can talk okay he can talk it can go on and on forever so yeah we kind of just started hanging out a lot more like after school during school and um we spent a lot of time together because of uh we were in jerry tc if you guys don't know what that is it's kind of like a high school like program of like the military like the army yeah i wore the uniform girl i wore the uniform for four years um that was like my least favorite thing about it was the uniform but it was a really fun program to be a part of and i'm very grateful because i got to do a lot of things with him there after you know we became a couple and all that but we're not there yet but anyways yeah so started hanging out more and then this is like a month past already and one of our other mutual friends who he was really good friends with at the time my boyfriend was really good friends with at the time he came up to me one day and he told me that ronald liked me like he had a crush on me and i was like what like really and at the time i didn't think nothing of it like i didn't really see him at in that way like i thought he was a very sweet guy and very cool you know to hang out with and whatever at this point i i think i was friend zoning him without him knowing i was friend zoning him and i remember telling our friend you know like he's cool but like i i don't think i see him like that so that was it and as time went on like we just kept hanging out so much more and then i kind of just started questioning myself like do i like this guy i don't know am i confused like i, I i'm not too sure it was getting close to like the homecoming dance because it's like homecoming season during like october at least for like my school i asked him to homecoming because i heard that he had wanted to go but he didn't have anyone to go with and i don't know if that was like a sign for me to you know take him or whatever so i said you know what like i wouldn't mind like going with him like i think we'd have a really good time so i invited him to go with me i asked him to go with me and he said that he couldn't go because unfortunately his parents did not let him go so um kind of bummed about it so i ended up just going to uh the homecoming dance by myself it was my first homecoming dance i know as a junior you think that i would have gone to previous ones but like i said i was very quiet shy girl never did anything like that it was like the first time i ever did anything like that like go to school dances and stuff and so i ended up going but before i left to the dance i thought for the first time you know hey like what if i just posted a picture of myself because i i'm i actually for once feel really confident and i want to post a picture and like you know show myself on, on my facebook page so um i posted a picture and during the whole time when i was at the dance like like that picture was just going so like it was getting a lot of attention so many likes going on and like comments and stuff and i saw a comment from him saying he wished he could have been there and i was just like oh my god like did this picture like work for him like i don't know so the next following monday from the weekend of homecoming comes and he comes up to me and um by the way we used to call each other best friend because that's just what we call each other but we liked each other and he hands me his phone i'm like what and he's like look at it <laughs> and i was like i don't know what you mean and he's like look at my phone screen so i remember turning it on the picture that i posted on homecoming he made it his lock screen i remember all the butterflies i was feeling in that very moment and was like holy literally like holy 
like oh my god like i think this guy does like me and i'm feeling him too i'm like oh my god i've never done this before like by the way i i've never had a boyfriend before I've never had a boyfriend before. After that happened, I, I kid you not, every night I was going to bed with a smile on my face. <laughs> it makes me smile right now just thinking about it. But um, so a few days later, so I hang out all, I used to hang out a lot in the choir room during lunchtime. And I remember being there and usually Ronald would go and like meet me there. But this time I didn't see him. So I was kind of confused. Like, hmm, like, where did he go, you know? But I'm there looking for him and I can't find him. So it was just, a little bit confused okay just waiting here for him to come and whatever and then our mutual friend that had told me that ronald had liked me he came up to me and he so there there used to be like this like cookie stand in my in my high school and they used to sell like really really good like chocolate chip cookies i saw him holding one and he comes up to me and telling me oh like you know this is from ronald ronald wanted me to give this to you and i said oh cool like where is he he's like oh like i don't know like he took off somewhere or whatever okay cool so i guess i'm not gonna see him at lunch time and then after school comes because we both didn't have a seventh period so like i said like we used to hang out during seventh period together and i remember him coming up to me and asking me like hey like did you like what you got at lunch and i said oh yeah oh like thank you so much for the cookie like it was delicious it was really really good and then he was like that's it and i remember just sitting there like what does he mean like that's it i'm like yeah or anything else to it and like i mean it was really good and he was like that's all you got and i'm like yeah that's all i got i'm like was there supposed to be something else like and then i just remember him <laughs> sitting there like damn it I'll do it again tomorrow and i'm like do what again tomorrow and he's like don't worry about it don't worry about it so next day comes i'm in the choir room again waiting for him same friend comes up to me see him holding a cookie again but this time i see a folded up like piece of like notebook paper on top of it and as he's passing it to me i just see ronald storm off like out of the choir room like running and i'm like so confused like what the hell is going on i'm so confused and when i get the cookie and i get the no <laughs> it was a no it's like the cheesiest but like cutest thing ever um basically it said like hey like i oh, like what's up like i was wondering if you wanted to like hang out sometime whatever i don't know okay bye and like was like a big like lesson like three sign and i remember reading it thinking like wait like is he asking me out is he asking me to hang out like i'm kind of confused so was, at the time i was talking to my best friend at the time and she was like no like i think i think he's asking you to hang out and i'm like oh like of course i'll hang out with him like he's really cool and i i love i love hanging out with him like of course like i'll hang out with him so i remember writing a letter back to him but i couldn't help but think like i think he was asking me to be his girlfriend i'm like i don't know okay so i wrote him a letter back and kind of like confessing like my feelings to him and i gave it to him when i saw him after school that was like the official date and i remember him asking me like so is that a yes i told him yeah you know and i wonder if he still has that letter till this day i think he does because i still have his i actually do want to frame it and like put it in like our future house or something but fast forward to today and you know 11 years later and we are still we are still here high school sweetheart guys i never thought but i am so happy that i have him and that he has me we have each other like honestly it is definitely the best feeling we have definitely have had our rough patches in this relationship i mean i don't know what relationship hasn't because everyone does but he is literally my plus and minus he makes me the happiest in the world he is my person he is my best friend i wouldn't have traded anything in the world for him like he is everything to me i can't wait to grow old with him and have a future together we talk about it all the time definitely my person everything to me i know a lot of people always ask like when they hear like how long we've been together which is like 11 years we'll be 12 years this year in october but everyone always asks us like why we're not married yet are we ever gonna get married and then like if i can be honest i just feel like yes of course like one day you know we'll get married like definitely see that in our future or else like what are we doing you know i'm really happy we're 
we're at in our relationship i feel like you should get married when you're both ready to do it i'm not against marriage or anything but it's not like in my like bingo card this year you know but you know like whenever he proposes like it's an automatic yes like we can definitely like be engaged but not get married until like years from that i don't really know i don't know what the future holds for us or what's gonna happen i just know i love him very very much he makes me the happiest and i just want to be happy with him and he feels the same exact way we're like we're on the same page about it all just we always get questions and like i get it you know been with each other for a long time so but you know only time will tell as of right now like we are both really really happy and i love being happy with him and i honestly wouldn't want to do it with anybody else like and i mean that wholeheartedly like i, I don't want to do life with anyone else but him he's my person my rock everything like honestly like if we ever broke up which we will not i don't think i'd want to date after because we started dating so young and the dating world was so different in that time i don't even think i would know how to date again you know like do i know how to flirt do, you know like i just it's a it's it's a lot and i just don't think like coming out like of a relationship that lasted so long if i'd be ready to even like get back on the horse and like redo it you know like i feel like i would need definitely some time but i don't know if i want to date again like being alone it doesn't sound like a bad thing to me because i always thought that i was gonna be alone anyways but i'm not saying i want to be alone i'm so happy being with ronald he is you said he's everything he's i don't want to like cry because i'm just gonna end up messing up the makeup <laughs> he is my person he's everything to me he, he's like the the guy in my dreams literally and i'm so happy i found him takes care of me he like he's just he's just so perfect like i remember when i used to work at this um clothing store in the mall um he used to take me to work he used to pick me up from work he used to even come during my lunch time and bring me lunch like not all boyfriends do that i feel like all boyfriends should do that but unfortunately they all do not but he did mine did and i remember always getting like questions from my coworkers. where did you find this guy like he's so sweet to you like he literally comes and he takes you to work he brings you lunch like all this stuff and tell him like high school man on the walls my high school that's where i found him i wasn't even looking but i'm I, i'm i'm glad it all worked out for the better um he used to tell me too like oh i didn't want a girlfriend in the freshman year i'm like yeah but you asked me you know <laughs> but i love that man with all my heart and never gonna give up on him and he's never gonna give up on me and i honestly can't wait to see what the future holds for the both of us and yeah <laughs> okay well that's all i have for my story time how me and my boyfriend met and how we got together i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you really enjoyed this video um please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more make sure to subscribe and if you want to be notified every time i post a video just hit that that bell and you will be notified every time i post so you never miss a thing let me know in the comments if you're dating anybody if you're happy or if you're looking for someone to be happy with i don't know talk about love or it doesn't even have to be love for a person but i don't know love for things that are in your life it could be a movie it could be a book it could be your coffee order like anything just tell me something that you love in the comments just love 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 <laughs> okay um thank you guys so much for watching oh by the way i didn't even tell you but this is the finished look i've been going really basic with makeup um recently <laughs> okay thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video very soon i love you guys so much bye